she all right so we're gonna get into this video and i'm going to tell you guys about the top things i noticed one month after quitting smoking cigarettes um and being smoke free for one month so before this video i kind of have it broken down the first part of the video i'm gonna talk about the main things i noticed and then the second part of the video i'm gonna talk about some of my tips and what i can tell you guys and um what i can share that might help you if you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes so here we go the main thing i noticed so far the main thing over the course of a month now it's been a little bit more than a month um as of the time of this video it's like we're getting into now the second week of um september uh but i actually stopped smoking uh back in august in the first week of august so it's been a little bit over a month now that i stopped smoking um really just cold turkey um i did smoke like a couple cigars here and there um but i didn't even like the cigars because a cigar is not a cigarette so it just wasn't hitting so um but i mean i guess it helped me because i just stopped smoking cigarettes altogether um so about five weeks ago i stopped smoking cigarettes altogether since then like i said the main thing that i've noticed so far is my appetite has been increased like i'm like munching like eating like way more like i would not be this hungry i know that i would not be hungry normally i would like start eating like later in the day and like have like a couple like larger meals um but since i've quit smoking i've noticed that that's like a major difference and i i say i really started feeling that like maybe about a week or two into um having quit smoking okay my appetite is increasing I say really like only in the uh, last couple of weeks, I say like maybe right about um, three weeks to a month is when you're going to start feeling like maybe you have a little bit more air. Uh, you're going to start coughing up stuff like I, I, I'm still kind of like hacking up stuff a little bit like your lungs are clearing out. You're going to start feeling that like around, you know, a month in, like four weeks. That's when you're really going to start feeling that other than that things that i mainly noticed is that my clothes smell good you know my car smells good i'm smoke free so like everything doesn't smell like cigarettes um you know that cigarette smoke and tobacco smoke has an uncanny ability to kind of stick to everything um in a way that no other smoke does and so if someone's been smoking cigarettes you'll know that they've been smoking cigarettes i get inside my car it smells fresh because I smoke a lot in my car, so I guess I'm a car. My car smells fresh. It doesn't smell like smoke. Other than that, I say besides the increased appetite, um, feeling like I can breathe a little bit better, maybe a little bit of a uh, better sense of smell and taste is starting to come back after a month, five, five or six weeks. Uh, oh, I will say that um, I feel as though my skin is getting a little bit better as well, too. I'm noticing that a little bit. So those are the things that I notice and that, that I, the changes that I personally, and, and again, this is my uh, anecdotal uh, kind of experience. And I'm, I'm giving you guys what, what I experienced um, from quitting smoking cigarettes. Um, uh, I, I smoked cigarettes for pretty a long time. Like I have quit for short periods of time um, in the past, uh, but now I just want to kind of document, and you know, um, I'll let people know, you know, and, and give my insight to what I experienced and what, what I actually felt over this course of this month uh, of, of quitting smoking, because it's not an easy task. And I think that um, once I get into the tips, uh, I'll be able to, that's when I'm really going to help. Like, that's why I wanted to make this video like this. And I wanted to put like what I experienced and the things that I started to notice up front because that's kind of like a teaser. But in reality, for people that are quitting smoking and trying to quit smoking, what you need is just what's going to follow up. And, and that's the tips that I have right now. So let's get into the tips. Let's talk about the tips that I have for people who are trying to quit smoking. Um, no one tip I have is to have some food, have hella snacks, have mad food, have always a way to like, you can munch out, like have drinks, have like Powerade, have, uh, you know, crackers, just have stuff stashed in your car, like in your cabinets, like buy snacks that you normally wouldn't even buy 
and just expect that you might get hungry and you might eat them because i swear the the cravings and your appetite is is linked somewhere in your brain um and this is not any like type i'm not giving you guys any scientific evidence i haven't researched this to to be able to back this up with any studies or anything like that but my own anecdotal um kind of experience and and what what i would tell you guys is that your appetite is at least for me my appetite was very and it is very linked to the cigarette cravings right because i would eat food and then i would smoke maybe somewhere in deep inside your brain you know and and it's probably not even that deep it's probably you know you guys to get in the comments and maybe even tell me something that i don't know but from my experience i think that your appetite is very much so linked to the cravings so you would have uh how you would experience hunger is the same way that you would experience cravings uh for the cigarettes some food around because as you start to quit smoking and your appetite increases you're going to want to have a bunch of snacks around for you to like you know just take your mind off the fact that you're quitting smoking and yes this is going to cost you ladies i know like you ladies that smoke this may cost you some extra calories you dudes that smoke this is going to cost you some extra calories but it is what it is take the stairs um instead of the escalator or the elevator or you know walk instead of uh taking your car out um just just you got to do something like that in order to manage because i'm telling you like the having snacks around and being able to snack when you get those cravings or having that to distract you from smoking is really going to help so that's my number one tip number two tip is just don't try to commit to anything don't don't when when and when i say that like um when it comes to quitting obviously this is a decision that you're gonna make and you're gonna have to stick to it. it's gonna be hard uh but the thing is is you shouldn't be putting unnecessary pressure and burden on yourself this is something that you're gonna do when you're ready and only when you're ready do not try to just create a weird type of timeline for yourself and i can tell you guys from in the past I've definitely like thought, hey, I'm going to quit this month or I'm going to quit after this or I'm going to quit after that. It's a decision to do something and put that effort in to quit. So don't try to commit all at once or to any t certain timeline. That's that's my number two tip. Don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. The world's putting enough pressure on you. Why put more pressure on yourself? Quit on your own timeline. Quit when you decide to do it. Number two tip. And the last tip that I have for you guys is really the number three tip um, is to put in the effort where you know that you need to put in the effort uh, when it comes to quitting and in regard to quitting. So some people are, are know they're going to have certain triggers and there are certain things that they need to stay away from if they're going to be able to quit smoking and to stop smoking for good. Uh, you're going to need to change your environment. You're going to have to be willing to do that. So. The number three tip, again, is to put in the effort where you know the effort needs to go for you personally. Like, I know for myself, and that's why tip number one for me was had to do with snacks because eating was so closely tied to how my cravings work and how I would smoke cigarettes. Um, I know for me as well as alcohol, and for a lot of people with alcohol and being in certain social settings around people who are also smoking and you're drinking, and that also can contribute to you wanting to smoke um so when i say put in the effort where you know you need to put the effort in um if you know that going to the club or going to this bar where people are drinking and if you're gonna go there and have a few drinks um you need to know yo i gotta cut myself off after two or three i gotta get out of here i gotta change up the spot change up the scenery whatever you gotta do but that's the kind of effort you gotta know yourself and think about uh, the types of triggers that are out there so that you can avoid those and be more proactive. So, and make sure you're not walking yourself into a trap where you know you're gonna wanna smoke. Um, and that's gonna be very helpful. Um, again, like for me, uh, that effort consisted of, you know, having some food around. So uh, when I get a craving or when I get hungry, I can't, you know what I mean? I'm not thinking about smoking um if i'm going out to a social setting um i've been smoke free and like i said some of the things i notice is that you know, things smell better around me so 
uh, you know, that's the type of effort that, that I think about putting in. It's just not even putting myself around the smoking circle, you know? So those are things you got to think about. Um, other than that, uh, good luck to everybody and just keep pushing it. Like I said, don't put the pressure on yourself. Do it when you decide to quit. But that's it, man. Subscribe, check out these other videos. And that's it.